It is March 30th, trout opening day here in the state of Maryland. I hope you guys had a fantastic day trout fishing. I'm fishing a local pond that we were blessed enough to have stocked this year. I'm here with Hartson and a couple of subscribers that I met the other day. Hopefully I can catch some trout so I can have some delicious trout later in the day. I'm hoping to get my limit. Limit per person is five in this five per day in the state of Maryland. So I'm just gonna get some rigs out there and see if I can catch anything today. Let's get started. So this is what I'm gonna be using today, some gulp trout nuggets. Very similar to power bait in like a nugget form. I got these two rods, which all I have with me here is just some Carolina rigs on both of them. I'm just gonna toss them out there and just kind of wait. Kind of similar to how I fish for carp. I never fished for trout this way before, but I assume it's gonna be, you know, very similar to carp fishing. Just a lot of waiting, and hopefully I can get, you know, one or two bites. We'll see. How many did you guys catch last time? Five? Six. Six? Okay. You caught one more after I let, two more? Yep. Six rainbows, only rainbows. So you'll be needing trout this whole week. <laughs> oh man, I had it one, like one of them tasted muddy, and then I was just like, okay, I'm done. Oh really? Yeah. The golden tasted really good though. Yeah. Really mild, sweet flavor. I really want to see you land one on that pen rod. <laughs> yeah, the problem with this thing is I can't really cast it far. Oh, it doesn't matter. They, they come in pretty close. Yeah. yeah I haven't used it since last, last time I caught that carp. Because uh, it's just very flimsy. Like, you just hold it. It's just like... The drag isn't that great, mm. and it's like very like I don't know. It just feels so cheap, you know. Uh, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it feels like the those like a retractable like. Yeah, it is retractable, okay. and the thing is, this this thing is is supposed it's a guide it's supposed to be here, but it's like it's like free floating now. <laughs> oh shit! It's a guide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even realize. <laughs> it's uh, like, something's missing here. Yeah. So it's a guide. <laughs> yeah. They're not they're not the best. Fish. Oh no, it's a turtle. No. Well, to be fair, you're the only one that has caught anything today. Uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so a little update. We've already been here for a little bit over two hours. We're sitting here with six rods on the bank, two per person. And we still haven't gotten any fish. I haven't gotten a single bite. The only one that has gotten a bite so far is Hartson. We don't know if it was a, a trout, but and hopefully we can catch something in the next hour or so. Cross my fingers, really. We moved around the lake trying to find the fish, but most of us were not able to catch anything. However, Maya got on a couple of rainbow trout right at the end. Maya's the only one catching anything today. Was this the second one? Yes, the second one. Nice. Hello. Two trout. Showing how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's about a week later. I'm back at the same pond, still looking for trout. Hopefully there's still some around. I can't imagine they would have taken out over 400 trout in just one week but you never know. I don't have a ton of time today. I can only fish until 11. It's early in the morning right now. I'm gonna be doing things a little bit different. Last time I was here, I was fishing with a Carolina rig and some 
uh, trout nuggets, which is essentially power bait. This time I'm going to be using a little bit of power bait, a worm, but I'm going to fish it under a bobber. Hopefully I can find some trout that way. Anyway, I don't have a ton of time, like I said, so I'm just going to get started. I've only brought one rod with me, so I'm going to get that rod cast out and let's just see if I can get some trout. Alright, so this is the rig that I'm working with today. What I've got here is a bobber stop on the line right there. About 10 inches of line down to the bobber. The bobber can go up and down the line freely. Then I got a bead. I got a swivel. I got two split shots with about, I'd say, another 10 inches of line down to a size 6 hook. And what I'm going to use for bait is a little bit of this gulp trout nuggets, just a little bit of this and also I'm going to top it off with a piece of worm and that's what I'm going to be using today. Hopefully the combo between these two gets me a bite today. And there it is, that looks very juicy for a trout to eat. Oh, bobber's gone, bobber's gone, bobber's gone, bobber's gone, bobber's gone. Got one, got one. Doesn't feel like a trout. Oh, it's a trout, yes. Yes. Only took me a week to catch this little guy. If we can get him in, we're having trout tonight. Hell yeah. This is my first one. <laughs> first trout of the day, baby. Looks like there's still some trout at this pond, even after a week of the stock. All right, so he swallowed the hook, so I'm gonna have to tie another rig. I'm gonna put him on the stringer, though. I fished a little more around the lake, but I could not get any more bites. I wasn't the only one trying to catch dinner. Whoa! That was insane! I don't know if you guys saw that, I was trying to film those guys earlier. He just got a fish right in front of me. So that's a good sign. So I know I was talking all that good smack about limiting it out for the day, but because I definitely suck at catching trout, I was only able to catch the one fish. But that's all I really need to have a nice meal out. So today I've come to one of my local lakes where there is a bunch of benches so I can cook until my heart's content. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna do some fish with avocado to honor Matt's from Fisherman's Life because I used to watch his videos all the time. However, I'm gonna put my own little twist into it. I'm gonna make a lemon butter sauce with capers to go along with my fish. I'm also gonna throw some onions in there because I absolutely love onions. I feel like onions and fish go hand in hand just like fish and avocado. And of course, I'm gonna have a whole avocado. It's because you need avocado with fish. Let's have some trout. First, I am going to make the sauce by cutting a lemon and squeezing the lemon juice into a cup. Passing the lemon juice through a strainer is an easy way to remove all the seeds. Now, with the flame on low heat, pour the lemon juice into the pan and reduce the lemon juice to about half. Then, start to slowly incorporate the butter. Make sure to stir it constantly. It 
it is important to keep steering, otherwise the sauce could split. Don't forget to season the sauce with salt and pepper. Lastly, add the capers and then pour the sauce aside into a cup. Next step is to cut some onions and throw them into a pan with some butter on medium to high heat. Don't forget to season the onions with salt and pepper and any other desired spice. Now for the main portion of this dish, the trout. The fish that took me about two sessions to catch. The only thing I've done is I've gutted it, I took the head off, cleaned it nice and well. I didn't show you that part because it's just standard procedure. The one thing I'm gonna do is just cut it in half because it doesn't quite fit in my pan. I'm just gonna throw it in there with some butter, skin and bones and everything. Because it's very easy to take the bones off of the trout once it's cooked and that skin gets really crispy and delicious. So let's just throw this trout in the pan with some butter and let's enjoy some fish. Can't wait. Season the fish well on both sides with salt and pepper. Mop up all the excess seasoning and make sure to season the inside of the fish. Toss the fish in the pan with some butter on medium to high heat. In about four to five minutes, flip the trout and make sure the skin is crispy brown. Lastly, you can just pull all the bones off with your hands. All the meat will just slide off the bones. Right, so I got my fish all in the pan, in a clean pan, already cooked. Let's do a little taste test. That is good. It doesn't taste muddy at all. That already tastes good by itself, but we're gonna take it to the next level. We're gonna add our onions. Then I'm gonna have the avocado and I'm gonna put all of this in here. This is the ingredient that Matt's from Fisherman's Life taught us all that goes excellent with fish, avocado. Beautiful. Look at that, that by itself already is gonna be fantastic. Fish, avocado, and onions. But there's one more ingredient to take this to the next, next level. 
and that is our lemon butter sauce that we made earlier. I'm gonna have to heat it up because it already set. It's a little bit chilly today, so <laughs> the butter, because I made it first, the butter already set. It turned into, well, butter, like when you put it in the fridge. All right, the butter is all melted now. It's ready for the pour. I have to use the rag because it got a little bit hot. Let's, let's do this. Oh yes, all the scapers going in, the butter going in. I'm just gonna put all of it on. I love lemon butter sauce. It's one of my favorite sauces with fish. Tell me that that doesn't look just amazing. Let's give it a try, shall we? Some avocado, some onions, a little bit of fish. Oh my God. That lemon butter so it just ties it all together. Perfect amount of salt and pepper, perfect amount of lemon and trout is just delicious. Oh, it's so good. Wow. This is gonna be gone in a minute. All I gotta say is Matt's, thank you so much for the fish and avocado recipe, but I've definitely improved it here. We gotta have that lemon butter sauce with some capers. A little bit of onion, perfection. There you go. Meal finished. Honestly should have brought some water, but after this feast, I'm definitely gonna get a little sleepy. <laughs> that was so good, oh my goodness. That was phenomenal. I feel like I have to give you a big thank you for keeping up with my definitely inconsistent upload schedule. We've been having some terrible weather here in Maryland and it's been making it very difficult to film some videos for you guys. Hopefully in the next few weeks we'll have some better and warmer weather so I can go out there and crank on some fish for your entertainment. Anyway, that's gonna be it from me today. You may click the logo down here if you'd like to subscribe and keep up with my new content or you can watch another video over on the right side to keep you entertained while I cook up some more videos for you guys. Regardless, make sure to give this video a fat like on your way out if you enjoyed. It's gonna be it from me today. I'll see you in the next one.